the worst cheaters ever. Look at my boyfriend. Look at how big he is. Right. Look at my boyfriend. Now, now let's talk. What's going on, guys? Shy Clips here once again. And I'm sure some wall clips of the craziest cheaters I can find. Like my favorite clip will be at the end, guys. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But this first one, guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, I guess this guy pulls up to his car to see it all scratched up. I guess he deserved it though for cheating, but in my opinion, never touch anybody's property. She's definitely going to court for this. Man, oh man. What do we have here? Holy shit, bro. Yo, what in the Brampton's going on over here, bro? This nigga got, this nigga got my cheating and shit, bro. Holy shit, look at this. Oh my goodness. And this next one is definitely one of the craziest videos I have ever seen. Basically, this guy is hooking up with this girl. I think they're at like some kind of hotel or maybe his crib. But regardless, he said his homeboy is pulling up. It turns out his homeboy was this woman's fiance. It was obviously a devious plan plotted by both of them. And she literally had no reaction at all. And she was completely speechless. This is my girl over here. Girl. What the fuck? Yo, girl. Oh, is that how we doing, Tisha? Tisha. Yeah, this is my girl. Actually, my fiance. My fiance. Yeah, man, this this ain't. What the fuck? Hold on, my nigga. Hold on, dog. Hold on, dog. I know. Ain't your name Kim? Kim. Yeah. That's my nigga. How y'all know each other? Man, I ain't got to worry about all that. What your lying ass doing over here, though? Now, I'm not going to say she needed to have a great excuse, but to say that, how do you guys know each other? Probably one of the dumbest things to ask. You're completely avoiding what's going on. And like I said, you really can't say much in this situation, which I understand. But I'd much rather have her just stay quiet throughout the entire time and just take the roasting, understanding that her marriage is completely ruined, than try to even start a conversation to get your way out of this. Oh, oh, man. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let, me, let me stop you, though, for real. Like, ain't your name Kim? Bro, I just met off a date, though. Tisha. Tisha. Yeah, Tisha. Yeah, that's my girl over here. Well, I just came over here. Hold on, smoking. man. This 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 show be like smoking. Hold on, yeah, hold on, bro. Like yeah. I, the, the the shit I be giving you, bro. Is y'all y'all get married? Y'all gonna get married? That, that that was the plan. We still getting married? Huh? I thought we was on some shield stuff. So. Hold on, hold on, man. You still get what? Shit, me. I thought we was on. I ain't, bro. I ain't, I ain't with all the itch stuff. I'm just saying, like me and her folks been chilling. And shit, that's it. Like, you should just let the motherfucker. And this next one, once again, is probably the dumbest thing anybody can ever do. I guess this guy said he doesn't want to be with this woman anymore. So she starts to brick all of his windows. People are actually saying, why is he recording and not calling the police? But I think recording is the best thing ever because now he has evidence. She breaking out the window of my house all because I told her I didn't want to deal with her no more. And the reason that I didn't want to deal with her no more because she toxic. And look. She breaking the damn windows out my house. She already done flat my tires on my car. She done keyed my car. She done told lies on me. She done do everything she could possibly to make my life a living hell. And this next one, I guess this guy sees this woman with another man. And let's just say she was laughing the entire time. I'm not sure why. In this next one, my jaw definitely dropped. Basically, we have this woman over here. She is literally confessing that she only likes messing with men who are already cuffed and have other women because she likes the competition. I've never heard that in my life. I guess she just likes the satisfaction she gets from realizing that she is prettier than other girls. But you are just a homewrecker. And I really do hope nobody ever marries you because God knows what you would do in a loyal situation. What are some red flags in a guy's bedroom? What are some red flags? Okay, so if he doesn't have like pictures of another girl or stuff like that then i automatically feel like he's sing i don't like single guys so oh to me i just feel like that's a red flag i need something i can compete with so you think it's a red flag if a guy doesn't have pictures of him and his girl in his apartment mm -hmm. like if there's no hair ties or like lashes i just i'm like mm. so you want there to be that stuff i want to see that because okay. that lets me know he's getting that wouldn't make you jealous mm -mm. No, it would make me feel like I can compete with something. Oh. You know, I have to win him over. So if you go into a guy's house and his apartment is clean, there's no pictures, there's oh, no... Oh, that's, that's another thing. If his house is too clean, to me, I just feel like, what can I bring to the table in this home? You know, it's like, it's too clean. What am I supposed to do? Oh. So you want it to be like a little more... Messy, yeah. Let me, let me come in and clean for you, babe. Let me... You know what I mean? Like, if he has like... 
a lot of food in the fridge and stuff, I just feel like, okay, so there's nothing I can teach him. There's nothing I can do for him. Really? Like, yeah, I want him to need me. I feel like no one, no girl's ever said anything like that before. It would always, you think it would always be the opposite. Maybe that's why I'm always winning in the dating direction. Oh, then, you know, maybe it is. Maybe. Some girls need to take some tips. They do. Write it down. And this next one, I'm not sure why this woman's getting a lot of attention on the internet, but basically, I guess she ends up getting divorced with her husband who's in the military. Now, guys, if you don't know, people in the military actually have a 95% divorce rate just because I guess people and couples can't just maintain that relationship anymore. But this woman decides to have a whole other photo shoot going on in her red dress, I guess celebrating her divorce, which I think is absolutely weird. This Western woman is being praised for divorcing her husband and having a divorce photo shoot. She divorced her husband, a guy that's in the National Guard, because his job is too demanding. If you are in the military and you marry, you have a 95% chance of getting divorced because these marriages, they never last. It's purely about money and transactional. She's divorcing a guy that's in the military serving the country and she met her current boyfriend on Tinder. How long do you think this new relationship is going to last? This Western woman is being praised for divorcing her husband. And this next one, I absolutely love this clip. Basically, we have this man over here. I guess him and his girlfriend decide to switch phones. And let's just say this woman is completely guilty. This is, I guess, my call to everyone to always check your spouse's phone. People are always, I guess, iffy about that kind of thing, saying, oh, you should respect their privacy. But in my opinion, if you are hiding anything off of your phone, you are most likely cheating. That says, hey, you got a minute to, to Mr. Josh. It says, uh, what happened yesterday, Keep it. this is from September of last year. It says, what happened yesterday can never happen again. Again. What? What you mean? It says right here. And then he put, don't yeah. trip, I ain't gonna tell nobody. The f and then he said, why are you gonna tell are you gonna tell him or what Wait. no hold on hold on let me finish oh, this no, hold on bro and then you said i feel guilty because i've been with him for so long but ever since about work huh yeah but ever since you, i started not, working here it's, it's, guilty. Not, it's nothing i've had a thing for you but i love him too also it's like that huh? it's not what it sounds like it just That's sounds weird been... it sounds weird just so like let's just this? go let's like not get him involved let's just go talk about it no no but hold on a minute hold on a minute though this goes way back to September of last year and you're sitting here walking with him like nothing's going on it and you're able to hide it for that long and it's not even like that you know what take your take your phone back bro take your phone back like and this next one is absolutely hilarious I'm not sure if this is true or not but the fact that this guy did this is insane but she's cheating on you one day she thought I went to the store and I hid in in the closet yes, and sir. what happened I heard the man say something and then after that all I heard was <sighs> really I was standing there I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. and this sucks so I'm not sure how this woman just blatantly says this all over social media what's your high school or college confession I'm a whore <laughs> that's it that's the COVID, that's it? That's it? And this next one, I found this absolutely insane. And once again, it goes to my point that you guys should be checking each other's phones. Here's another couple that once again, this woman is cheating on her man just through Instagram. Boyfriend and girlfriend by chance? Yeah. Do you guys like trust each other? Yeah. What would you do if you found out she cheated on you? Go to a house, take one of her dogs or something. What would you do if he cheated on you? I would take his cat. And do what with it? Put it in my crime. What is video? Is it all right if you guys like soft phones and see if you guys are like loyal? Yeah, yeah. Soft phones then? Yo, what are you doing? No, I'm just... Nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Why are you on your phone? <laughs> Alright, like, check each other's messages. Why are you logged out of your Instagram? I'm not. You need to log back in, because I need to, like, I'm check I'm not logged out. Yo, log back in so I can check the messages. I don't know my password. That is some system, man. You need to give him your phone. <laughs> Yo, what the hell, bro? Nah, come back. Yo, get him back. Come back, come back. Come back. Yo, come back. And this sex with this woman asked this man a very difficult question. To be honest, he actually answered it pretty well. You guys let me know your opinions down below, though. Adam. Your friend's ex? or let your friend your ex. Um, let my friend Oh, you're not f***ing ex. Mm, I can't do that. Mm, so that's like, you're for life or you know? Yeah. Right, right, but he can do it to you, that's fine. Yeah, because it's my ex, so why would I care? And this sucks we have this man over here. I guess he gets questioned, would he ever date, I guess, an OnlyFans model? And he's 100% correct. I'm not sure why women are flipping out on him for saying this. They're an actress, too. They're acting. That's we were talking about that in the great. car, OnlyFans. Yeah. That's great, but I would never. Really? I mean, I'm, I like, I like, because I'm, I'm conservative. I hold myself to a certain standard. I'm not just out here wilding out. 
Ooh, you're gonna get me caught up. In this next one, I absolutely love this clip. Basically, we have these women make up their own imaginary man about what kind of standards they have. And their standards literally get exposed in this clip. Of your ideal man. 27 or older. What is the race of your ideal man? Black. Minimum height. You better be like six foot or more. And minimum income. I told you, six figures. The probability of you finding your ideal man is 0.17%. <laughs> And this sexual swim is absolutely delusional. She ends up having a huge meltdown because this guy ended up taking her parking spot. Excuse me. She even brought her boyfriend to think that he's going to solve the problem. But in reality, this man's literally not going to do anything about it. I need to park. This is my spot. Yeah, this is my spot. Hey, my Look. boyfriend's coming here. Seriously, stop. No, Get away. I don't want to hurt you or anything. Get out. Hey, Please, I'm stop. saving this spot. Listen, Seriously. Lady, this is my spot. I have Excuse a permit me. for this no, spot. No, no, no. I'm saving Where's your car? He's Where's your car? It doesn't matter. I'm it saving it for him. He is coming here. <laughs> Listen, Karen. Seriously, I'm here. If you don't have a car, I can't, I can't, oh my god, dude. Listen, get out, hey, hey, I have a permit for this spot, please. You see this? Come here. You see that? I have a permit. Yeah, wait till you see my boyfriend. Wait till you see I don't my care boyfriend. how big your boyfriend is. I don't you care. I own this. You I, own this land. Listen, I pay my taxes. Karen. Pay your tax. I pay my taxes. I understand. Like he pays I, his taxes. I understand. He Stop it. Stop it. Spot. He needs to get out. He needs to get out. Look at my boyfriend. Look at how big he is. Look at my boyfriend. Now, now let's talk. Let's give you guys some watch. Because guys, the next one. Take care. Peace.